Oh, I think we're gonna have to redo all of that. Oh, you gotta be fucking kidding me. Alright, well, we'll just can the last episode. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Alright, hey, Robert, welcome back. This is definitely our first time doing this. Absolutely. Um, back to playing some more Sonic Adventure. Uh, we did not just completely lose an entire episode full of gold. Absolutely. No dead air whatsoever. <laughs> no dead air. Now here we are. We're both depressed and miserable. And the whole episode's gonna be dead air. What's this? Gonna... No, actually, no. Shut up. I found something. Oh. Oh, what? I actually did. I was... oh. oh, never mind. It's nothing. Oh, I think that's where you, like, you're supposed to get something or something? No, I think that's a Knuckles thing. Oh, it is. It might be a Knuckles thing. You're right, because I forget that you replay the same levels as different characters in this ambitious game by Sega. Yeah, this Emmy award winning. Do games <laughs> so get Emmys? So great it won an Emmy. <laughs> That's how that works, no. right? <laughs> Emmys for TV, but sure, yeah. The Look, television award. I see, therefore I am. It works how I want it to work. Uh, there was a game that won a that won a Grammy, Grammy for music. Oh, really? What? I think it was Journey. That PlayStation game. I think it won a Grammy. Oh shit! Really? Yeah, it's got some pretty great music in it, man. It's a good game in general. Very, very yeah. arty. Yeah, yeah. It's very, very like. It's one of like the first like artsy games I played. Now, now there's like a diamond dozen, but back then they were pretty like not so not so common. This part controls like ass, by the way. I, I can tell. I, I see Robert. Whenever I see you struggling in a game like this, I'm never like, "Wow, Robert's so bad at it." I'm like, "Wow, this game sucks." <laughs> yeah, it's just, it's just really awkward. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh wait, because <laughs> we how, um, we totally. Oh. This is the first time discovering something. Oh hey, there's a joke about we have to finish this background. Oh, but the game's out. <laughs> and then instead, we have a chance for another joke. We can okay, we can uh, green screen this out. <gasps> Oh, you're right. Just put a put a nice little gag in there. No, that's for you. There you go. <laughs> that's your that's oh, your homework. If it doesn't make me laugh, I'm gonna beat you. <laughs> Not again. <laughs> First you woke up, and now you did this. <laughs> All right, here we go. You know, it's funny. Like we're making. I mean, I guess because we already know what's happening, but. Where we are now, we were in like eight minutes into the last episode. <laughs> oh, really? We're making—we're actually progressing faster. Oh yeah, because I figure you just know what you're doing now. Yeah, it's going a little quicker. Yeah, but I'm trying to remember some key points that we missed out on. Oh, so I asked you the question: Who do you think of the Sonic fam would be the heaviest drinkers? Oh yeah, we never finished that. So my 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 three conclusions, the three possibilities I came up with were Knuckles, Sonic, and Shadow. Because they just seem like miserable alcoholics. Yeah, I got I got no real basis off of that aside from they just look at I, I look at them and I think they need help. Well, I mean, the, how we've been characterizing Sonic in our playthrough is like cold-blooded murderer, like <laughs> alcoholic. We have been characterizing him crimes. anyway. That was Sega. Yeah, <laughs> Sega did that. That's true. That's true. It's Sega's fault that we made Sonic be this way. You know, um, I just realized those spikes don't hit you when you're on the floor. Yeah, no, they, they just stand there. They they only hit you if you jump. That's so strange. Because what what does Sonic love doing aside from running? Jumping? Killing hookers. Exactly. Uh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh! Oh my god. You saw that? Yeah, that was, that was pretty jank, I'm gonna be honest. How, how did I get up here so fast? I have no. That, I mean, oh, oh I wait, didn't. You missed one. <laughs> what? Where? You must have missed one. What? I guess I did. Yeah. Maybe there's maybe there's one on this level. You just didn't hit it. So no. Nah, there, there's supposed to be like a cutscene. I pressed that one yeah. over there. Yeah. Yeah. It's the red one. So maybe get on the snake a little. Maybe you weren't supposed to jump on that final platform. Is what I'm saying. Maybe. Oh, there it is. It's up there. Yeah. to say, it's unusually fast how we got there. <laughs> oh shit. Oh, Jesus. Okay, so yeah, he's a... Uh, we're talking about alcoholics or something? 
Yeah, and then I said Eggman, to me, would be the crippling alcoholic. Because he just always loses. Yeah. And so his self-esteem is probably shot to death. See, I... My, my thing is, I, don't, I can't imagine him as an alcoholic because of the inventions. I feel like that's where he puts his, uh... All his frustrations. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, I guess I could see that, but like... But like someone like Tony Stark, for example, like he's an alcoholic in the comic books and he loses himself in his work as well. Like some of the shit that Eggman invented, you gotta you gotta wonder like he was on he must have been on something to to come up with that. You got a point. He's probably like cracked out. <laughs> cracked out, yeah. <laughs> what if I made a a carrier that can hold me, but I made it in the shape of an egg? <laughs> what if I made Sonic but metal? Is he in this game? Eggman? No, Metal Sonic. I don't think so. I, mean, I think that's Sonic Heroes. Is that his first appearance? I mean, outside of the comic, I think, yeah. Okay. Okay. I often forget that there is a pretty, pretty successful comic of Sonic. The Archie ones? Yeah, yeah. It's a pretty well-known. My niece used to read those. Archie comics? No, like, Sonic. Sonic. Comics. Okay, was that like the Riverdale kids? Yeah, no. Riverdale is something different. Um, well, because isn't Archie, I might be wrong, but isn't Archie like super like Christian? I have no idea. Like this comic kind of Okay. Well, uh, if neither of us know, that means that it's just time for us to make shit up. Uh, <laughs> our, <laughs> Go for it. Archie, um, I'm pretty sure Archie's like pretty Christian. Or has like a very conservative message to it. Um, it's also like comedic. I don't know, but anyways, Riverdale is like it has the same. It's the same property as Archie, but it's like a murder mystery, and uh, everyone's like hot as fuck. Okay. Yeah. Well, are you talking about the show or the comics? Because I think they're different. There's a comic book named Riverdale. Yeah, it's where, or that's what the show is based off of. Th okay. Those are the Archie kids. I know this is the Archie kids. I just, I just thought that Riverdale was. A was a new thing based off of Archie. I didn't know there was a comic book named Riverdale. <laughs> I, I I don't know. I don't think it is called Riverdale. I think it's just called... Never. <laughs> Let, let's no, this, fuck this. No one cares. It's such a worthless conversation. <laughs> this is going nowhere. A fucking show that neither of us have seen. A comic book that neither of us have read. <laughs> we could not be more clueless about the subject. And we're still arguing about it. <laughs> More unqualified. No, fuck you. This is a comic I've never heard of. <laughs> uh, this is all worth it, Noah. Eh? <laughs> Everything we've done has been up up to this moment has been worth it. Some, sometimes it's it's nice to have those moments of self awareness because there'll be times where I'm like arguing about something or talking about something with someone and I'm just like, who, who gives a fuck? Like, wh why are we still talking about this? Like. <laughs> This is the most worthless <laughs> conversation I've ever had. Uh, well, okay, let's change it then. What, what do you want to talk about? What's on your mind? I don't know, man. It's uh, it's been a weird uh, it's been a weird week. It's what happened? Week. You sound like you got we were, something going on. We were talking <laughs> we were talking previously about um, in the episode that was lost about how I think I'm pretty good at admitting that I'm wrong because I'm wrong a lot <laughs> and. <laughs> Learning, learning the humility of that is a big step, especially in a relationship. Yeah. Um, so me and my partner once were out buying something, and this store has a pretty strict no return policy. They're like, all sales are final. Yeah. You know, whatever. Last time I did that, I walked in and I asked because I got the wrong thing. They said they were pretty upset. They were like, look, we don't do this normally ever, so don't expect it to work next time. Like, but we'll return it just this once. And I was like, oh, yeah. thank you so much, or whatever, whatever. The I, I messed up again when buying this thing. I messed it up again, and I was like, fuck. They're not going to do it. Like, they're not going to do it, because they told me last time to not try it again. So I was telling, I was, uh, you know, I was talking to my partner about it, and she was like, and they're like, well, like, just try it like dumbass like why not like and i was i was like i was like no like it's not gonna work and i got pretty heated about it i'm like i'm telling you it's not gonna work i'm just gonna look like a fucking idiot 
And then I started to leave, and they got pretty upset with me because it's not what they wanted. It's a worthless product. Yeah. And I was, I was like, listen, it's just, I'm sorry, I messed it up. I can buy it again some other time. Um, so long story short, after some arguing, I was like, fine, you know what, fuck it. I'll turn around and I'll go in there and I'll, I'll risk looking like an idiot. Either way, because at this point I've argued that it's not going to work at all. And if I go in there and they do exchange it, then I'm an idiot. And if they don't, then I'm still an idiot. So it's a lose-lose for me. Yeah. <laughs> so I walk in there, I walk back into the store, <clears throat> and I said, Hey, I know you guys normally don't do this or whatever, but I really messed up. Like, can I exchange it for something else and I'll pay the difference? And the person was like, yeah, okay. <laughs> and that was, was it. Like, I was like, God. <laughs> I was so angry. I wanted to lash out at the guy, but it wasn't, you know, it had nothing to do with him. I was yeah. just like, fucking goddamn! I can't go back in the car with a straight face. <laughs> and, and go to your partner and be like, hey. Yeah, so, I mean, but that's exactly what I did. I exchanged the product and I'm like, okay, look, I was wrong. I'm sorry for being such an asshole or whatever, but I mean, the damage was done and they used that as ammunition. <laughs> yeah, you were ridiculed mercilessly the entire time. Um, of course, yeah. I mean, and, you, and it's one of those things you just have to learn to take your lumps, you know? Yeah. Like, look, I was wrong. Whatever. Do do with me what you will. So that was fun. Yeah, you, you learned a lesson in humility. To be fair, I think Ren was right. <sighs> she, yeah, they were. They were. But because it's like, take the shot. Why, why would you not take the shot? <sighs> yeah. Listen, what you said earlier about taking lessons in humility, that's my entire life, is taking lessons in humility. <laughs> and look this at that, we're... Just another, another entry. Oh, look at that, we finished. Oh yeah, we're already back to where we were. Yeah. 619. 619. Oh, Booyaka. Yeah, not bad. <laughs> Booyaka, motherfucker. <laughs> Alright, so, yeah, this is, um, this is about where we ended the last recording. So, yeah, we're making some pretty stellar progress. So yeah, now we actually get to know what happens. Yeah. The hell is this? I'm so intrigued by the Whoa, deep sonic what's lore. This? Oh. A mural. It's just like a fucking naked lady. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that all of history? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's the thing in the intro. Looks like me on a Saturday afternoon. <sighs> okay. <laughs> the water is puss. <laughs> <laughs> What's this place? <laughs> that was so unfunny, but like <laughs> it just it just really tickles weird. me right the way. <laughs> well, um that's going to do it for this episode of Sonic. We made some good progress, but um, it's now it's time for things to end. So if you like this episode and you want to see more, go ahead and click that subscribe button and we will see you guys next time. Bye.